Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video today from uh, my home office here in Jerusalem. For today's video, I want to look at how to uh, find remote and hybrid job opportunities using LinkedIn. I'm actually making this video because a friend of mine was uh, recently laid off from a job and I just remembered that conversation. He told me to you know, keep an eye out for any job opportunities and because we're in different professional fields, I probably am unlikely to see stuff, but I did want to tell him about uh, using LinkedIn for finding remote or hybrid jobs because I'm not sure that everyone knows how to use these uh, functionalities. I personally used it the last time I was looking for a job and the time before that, and I've had a lot of success using LinkedIn jobs. LinkedIn jobs is just the job functionality that's built into LinkedIn. So if you already have a LinkedIn profile, you don't need to create anything uh, additional. You just need to click on jobs in the uh, top navigation bar of LinkedIn. I'm gonna jump over to my screen uh, shortly. Now, when I was looking for my last job, um, I was specifically looking for remote or hybrid jobs. In other words, I was excluding fully in office jobs for the most part, unless they were based in my city, but because where I live, uh, Jerusalem in Israel doesn't have a huge amount of tech jobs uh, here. It was mostly looking with um, companies elsewhere in Israel for hybrid positions. In other words, perhaps one day a week in Tel Aviv or fully remote jobs with international companies. And without wanting to sound uh, cocky or bragging, during my last job hunt, I had a lot of... Uh, opportunities opened up through LinkedIn. Now, in parallel, because I wanted to cover all bases, I was looking at remote jobs boards also. Now, I ended up finding something like 20 different remote jobs board and I used them in parallel to my LinkedIn search. And if I were starting the process again, I would personally have just skipped out on all those remote only jobs board. The reason is, firstly, there's a lot of them. There's like, tw if you Google remote jobs board, you're probably gonna find 30 different ones. The only ones I would probably look at if this were me again would be one specific to my occupation. So I might look at a remote marketing jobs board, but just a general remote board, it's gonna take a long time to get, you know, to exclude perhaps the jobs that are more commonly done remotely like development jobs. So. The thing about LinkedIn, LinkedIn has that kind of critical mass effect. And since they added these features for <clears throat> filtering the jobs on remote or hybrid, to me, that would be my preference. And as I said, from my personal experience, two job hunting processes, LinkedIn every time threw up a lot of opportunity and the other websites didn't. That was just me, you could be different. So with that intro aside, let me show you guys what you need to do here. So this is my dead LinkedIn profile. I probably should do a bit more stuff on LinkedIn, but I tend to only use it when I'm job hunting. So I mentioned that there is a uh, job uh, button. So what you wanna do there is click into jobs and you're going to be taken to the uh, job board on LinkedIn. Now my internet's a little bit slow, so it's gonna take a second to load here, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to filter on the type of jobs uh, that you're looking for. Now, as you can see, recommended for you and it's coming up with jobs, uh, LinkedIn is going to kind of parse your profile um, and find stuff. So here's a search that the one that I ran for my friend because he's a UX writer and Israel. So in LinkedIn, when you get into the jobs area, you're gonna have two fields. One of them is going to be for your uh, the type of job or the position you're looking for. And the other one's going to be a geography based delimiter. So I have Israel typed in, but you can actually do what, watch what happens if I type in world, what I can get for, I can go for worldwide. Now that might be useful if you're looking for exclusively remote jobs and you don't really care where the employer is based. Alternatively, you could look for, if you're, you know, realistically, you may not be able to get the salary you're looking for in every geography. So what another thing you could do is type, let's say United States. Unfortunately, at this time, to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to aggregate uh, delimiters. So you can't do, show me UX writer jobs in US plus, uh, you know, uh, UK plus Ireland, or show me UX jobs on a continent in Europe and the US. 
uh, these would be really useful if LinkedIn uh, were to add them. But right now, this is what we have. So I'm going to go back to Israel uh, just for the sake of this example, because it's a pretty small country. It tends to uh, not have huge overwhelming amount of results. So I've put in the job I'm looking for. I put in Israel. Now you want to click on all filters right now you've got other options here like date posted you can search for jobs it only went up in the last month week or 24 hours 24 hours will allow you to kind of get in there quickly but uh they don't have the um they don't have the remote filter here they do have full-time part-time or contract so you, you have to click into all filters worth pointing out as well that i'm not using a uh you know a premium linkedin profile i just have the basic profile i'm not paying for any of the uh, more fancy ones they do give you additional features that are very useful if you're a job hunter but you can get these uh these search filters for looking for remote and hybrid jobs all without having to upgrade uh to a paid plan on linkedin okay so let's let's cut to the chase and show you where this is so sort by date posted experience level company job here we go it's called on-site slash remote and by default none of them are ticked so what i'm going to do is Tick, on, tick into hybrid and remote. That's going to show you hybrid and remote. And look what happens when we untick them. We've gone from 66 results, which isn't a huge amount by the way, but you know, it's still 66. If I do fully remote jobs, we're down to two. So that that it's worth just seeing what those numbers change to just to get a feel for how many jobs are in your uh, market that are going to be friendly to that arrangement. So two over 66 is pretty poor. Uh, I would say uh, for UX writer jobs in Israel, unfortunately, a lot of companies are still reluctant to move to a fully remote model. You can probably figure out my bias uh, by the way I talked about that. I'm a big remote uh, work fan. But if we turn on hybrid as well, we're going to get to 17. And now we filtered on 17 uh, jobs in Israel that are for UX writer and that are either remote or or hybrid now just out of interest let's uh run this on a worldwide level worldwide so now we should be getting a huge amount of ux writer jobs 5302 and once we have selected the on-site remote uh option out of the all filters it's going to appear as one of these top level filters and so let's say it's, it's and again i'm thinking about my friend here well okay we're looking at the whole world now so let's exclude those hybrid options. We just want fully remote options. And now we have 3,744 3, results. So now we're looking at a very, very big pool because we're looking at the whole world. And you can see the countries range from Czech, Czechia to Australia uh, to Seattle, Washington. And then you can you know, apply more filters to just get this a bit more granular. I only want to look at posts in the last week. Okay, now we're down to... 1,000, 1,200 results. This is a bit more manageable. I only want to see jobs that are, uh, you know, from, uh, I don't want, I want to skip the entry level, let's say, if you're experienced, so associate and above. And now we're down to 857. So you get the idea. It's, it's all about taking a large haystack and making it smaller. I think that's the expression. But just to be clear, these are all going to be remote opportunities. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to send this video to my friend. I hope it helps him out a little bit. As I said, I found LinkedIn very, very helpful for finding remote work. I personally found it more useful than the various remote job boards and marketplaces are there. And my prediction is that LinkedIn is going to continue to be actually the top dog in town for finding remote jobs, simply because, as I said, it's got a critical mass. Pretty much every job seeker has a LinkedIn profile versus these fragmented small remote jobs boards are all kind of competing with one another just to get that brand recognition anyway that's uh, all i have to say for this video hope this was useful for any job seekers looking for remote or hybrid jobs on linkedin if you do want to get more videos from me please consider subscribing to this youtube channel thanks very much for watching